So now let's just look at one example covering the green shields model. And we know this model is a traffic flow model or relationship. And it allows us to quantify the speed, density, and flow rate for cars flowing on a, in a facility or a specific segment, roadway segment. So we know under the green shield model in the handbook on page 304 in the new FE handbook, we're given certain graphs and the most important one is we realize that the speed versus density as shown in the handbook is linear, right? So for the green shield model, we know this is a linear model and as shown by the speed versus density relationship. So for this example, we will just solve one example and find the density given certain parameters. But before we do that, I want to quickly define certain terms. And these are in the handbook. The first one is the flow rate. So the flow is defined in the handbook as V. So we're usually seeing V as velocity. So don't, don't get confused there. V is like Q, right? Q is flow rate, but flow under the green shield model is V. So the flow, it's the equivalent hourly rate. So for a facility or free, freeway segment, we know we have an equivalent hourly rate in vehicles per hour that enter the segment. So the maximum flow VM is going to be defined as the maximum flow at maximum capacity or optimum density. So that VM is always at maximum capacity and optimum density. So we will define density down here as well. But we know then we have speed. Speed is denoted by S. Speed is technically the velocity because we're using miles per hour. So it's the rate of motion. And we have two different types. The free flow speed is SF as defined in the handbook. And we know this is defined at the speed that corresponds to the flow when we approach zero. So when the flow is approaching zero, we have free flow speed. So the vehicles can maneuver in any direction. There isn't really any congestion at all. You're traveling at the design speed, at free flow speed. Then you have the optimum speed. So this is defined as the speed which corresponds to maximum flows. So this is the optimum speed at capacity. So it's S naught. Then we have the densities. And we know density is D. It's denoted by D. Some books use K. So for the handbook, make sure you use, look at D as the density. It's the rate of traffic over a distance. So this is in vehicles per mile. But we usually see this in vehicle mile per lane. So for, for a specific lane right for one lane so it's vehicle per mile it's the rate of traffic over distance that's the density we have two types the jam density is dj so it's defined as the density that corresponds to the flow and speed approaching zero which makes sense right this is when we're congested the flow and the speed begins to approach zero the vehicle slow down there's stop and go traffic at this jam density right we're congested at that point. And then optimum density is defined as the density that corresponds to maximum flows. So this is the capacity as well. We call that the capacity, uh, optimum density. So the capacity is actually uh, optimum density. So we have these terms defined. Then we know in the handbook there's also figures. I won't go into that in this example, but... We will use the first figure, specifically the linear relationship of speed versus density. So for that, let's actually do this example real quick. So don't forget, attempt it, pause the video, and see if you get what I get. So the first thing we're told we have a freeway segment has a free flow speed of 65 miles per hour. So free flow speed, we said, is what? What variable? it will be SF, right? S sub F. So let's write that as a given. Let me do that. So lagging here. Okay. So as a given, SF is 65 miles per hour. So the units are important. Make sure it's in miles per hour when we're working with the green shield model, specifically in the US. So make sure the units look good. Miles per hour. 
for that. And then we're told that the jam density is 120 vehicles per mile per lane. So we're just looking at one lane on this freeway segment. So the jam density is what? Which variable? DJ, right? Jam density. DJ is the jam density. And that's 120 vehicle per mile per lane. Then we're told using the green shield model, the density expected at a speed of 43.8 miles per hour is most nearly what? So we want to find the density. Let me write that down here as what we want to find. The density at what speed? Let's call that D at a speed S of the 43.8 miles per hour. So we know the jam density is given, the free flow speed is given, and what we want to find is this, the density at this speed. Based on the green shield model, which is a linear relationship, right? So for the solution, I'll quickly draw that graph just to show us the where these values would actually go on the graph. So you have the y-axis, you have the x-axis. And we know on the y-axis is the speed, right, in miles per hour. So we're given the free flow speed as denoted in the handbook on page 304. This is going to be our SF, right, up here. So we have that, and we know we're also given the jam density, which is going to be on the x-axis. So the jam density is dj, right? And we know this is connected by a line, a linear line. It's a linear model and it decreases. So all this says is we start at free flow speed, right? We start at free flow speed here at no density, right? The density is zero when we begin. But as we increase the density, the free flow speed drops, right? The design speed goes down. The cars are can no longer operate at the design speed which is the 65 miles per hour technically. So we have that. So for this case, let's focus on the question. We know D is going to be what we want to find at this speed. So if we quickly just plot a speed, let's say we have a speed here. The speed that we want to focus on is this, which is 43.8 miles per hour and we go we go to the line we intersect and we will read off and actually calculate a density this is the density that we want to find so it's not that bad all we do is actually just use the equations that are derived for us so to find that density we just use I believe the first equation so the equation looks like this in the handbook so s equals sf minus SF divided by DJ times D. So we know basically everything except one unknown, which is the D. So I'll denote D in red, and that's what we want to find. This D here. So let's plug in everything. We know S is the speed that we want to find the density at, which is 43.8 miles per hour. So the units are good, we want miles per hour, and we're given it in miles per hour, right? Then we do SF is going to be the 65 miles per hour, minus SF, which is 65 again, divided by DJ. The jam density is actually given, 120. So that's 120, and we multiply by D. So all you do there is solve for D, so you take 43.8 minus 65, you get a negative value, then if you do the math for this, you get a negative. The left side is negative. The right side is negative. You divide both sides, leave D by itself, and solve for D. You should get a positive value at the end. And for D, you should get about 39.14 vehicle per mile per lane. That's the answer we want. So this should be the correct answer. And in this case, it should be D. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And let me know if you have questions. Thank you.